A TTS, or text-to-speech, is any software that converts a given string of text, unsurprisingly enough, into speech. Nowadays, a plethora of TTS software are available to the general public. The uses of TTS vary greatly from not revealing your voice online to creating haha -ha funny about the gig moment. However, how did we end up here? The first thing that probably comes to mind is recording every single phoneme in a given language. Sticking them together, though, ends up sounding very unnatural, and I'm not even going to mention how irregularities in English spelling would make it very difficult to split up a word into phonemes. To make a robot voice sound at least semi-natural, we would need to record every syllable. Then, every word would have to be mapped to the syllables that one says was pronouncing the word. If we wanted to make it fully natural, we would also have to worry about pitch to avoid the voice being too monotone. This sounds like, and is, an absolute abomination in English. However, you know what language seems totally tailor-made for this task? Japanese! Japanese has very little irregularities in its writing, and has only about a hundred syllables. Moreover, because of various studies on the pitch accent across Japan, there was already documentation for the natural pitch patterns for every word. Perfect! Now we can just record the syllable samples, make a map of how every word maps to a pitch pattern, change the pitch of the syllables depending on the word, and we're done. Changing the pitch can be done with the Fourier transform, which I will not talk about, but if you want a video about it from me, tell me in the comments. There still are problems, though. For example, Japanese has words that are written the same, but mean different things in speech depending on which pitch accent is used. For example, ame means rain, and ame means candy. How can a computer know the context and therefore what the person meant? This was a giant unfixed problem for quite a while, and TTS software usually just allowed the user to change the pitch manually. An easier task turned out to be singing, as there, the pitch has to be set manually anyway so the person sings in a given melody. Obviously, Japanese people still pioneered in the singing robot field, creating software such as Vocaloid, with ready collections of syllable samples that one can use, called voice banks. With the most famous one probably being Hatsune Miku. There was a lot of software which allowed for creating your own voice banks, which allows for a person to cut out syllables set by, for example, John Cena, and then one can make him sing in Japanese. However, eventually, traditional TTS based on set in stone math formulas became very limited, so people started using AI to develop TTS software. This solves all of our problems, from detecting context in Japanese pitch accents to finally speaking English. The idea is simple we create a database of words and how they are pronounced. The AI, given a word, tries to guess its pronunciation. Then, the guess is compared with how the word is actually pronounced, and then the AI changes its quote-unquote settings, either more or less depending on how much it fucked up. At the beginning, the guesses are pretty much random, but with more and more samples, the guesses become more accurate. Then, when the guesses are accurate enough, we can let it read actual text. If we want to make the AI even more advanced, we can try to train it on text longer than just one word. For an AI to learn regularities between words and text though, it would be a way longer process, requiring way more data. It is possible though, and it is being achieved right now. Think about these presidents. We have a lot of data on how they pronounce words and longer text as a lot of their speeches are available online. This allows for creating the funny Obama gaming moment.